Hello guys. I will introduce my team. So my team name is Pensa Robotics. With team ID TGI twenty two ID thirty fifteen. We are from Indonesia. My name is Devan Ahmad and my partner is Dainar Ahmad. Our experience in robotics are first place Robocup Junior Soccer Lightweight U12 Singapore 2018 and first place Robocup Junior Trash Kill Line Primary Singapore 2019 and first place Made Rough Competition Rangers Challenge ASEAN 2019 and some of the winners of the competition we have won both at national and international levels of category line maze, drone racing, underwater, sumo RC, and others category. Executive summary of preliminary challenge Co-space autonomous driving challenge U19 in China Our robot has to walk from start to all checkpoints to finish with the best route. The strategy that we use First, analyze the track to choose the best path. Second, use the shortcut on the dotted line. Third, maximizing all sensors for robot stability. From the result we got, our robot passed all checkpoints and finished within 38 seconds. Conclusions, our robot made it through the pass route and passed 6 checkpoints in the fast time. How to find fastest route? Before we program, we have to determine the best and fastest way to pass the six checkpoints and reach the finish. In the picture on the left, in our opinion, is the fastest way. And the one on the right, in our opinion, is less effective. How to use IR sensor? The task we do, the one like tracking. And tracking programming, we use the case method by writing all possible line sensor reading conditions and entering them into data variables. How to use RGB sensors? Number two, detect color with RGB sensors at checkpoints, at turns, and at intersections. We point detect orange color using RGB sensor. From the values read on the RGB sensor, we have to make a minimum and maximum reach on the sensor panel and to stop for 2 seconds we set the duration to 25 or 2.375 seconds and divide it to stop for 80 and to go forward for 15 color marker the robot detect red marker using RGB sensors to turn right how to use gyro sensor? Number 3 uses a gyro sensor or rotation Z to turn. At the intersection of the dotted lines, we detect a green color to turn left with a uh, wheel left speed of 40 and a wheel right of 100 until the rotation Z is 230 until 240 degrees. Okay. The robot goes from start to the first checkpoint by detecting the orange mark and stop for 2 seconds then forward and detecting the red mark to turn right and detecting the cyan mark to change the set line from a thin white line to a thick black line. After going through the thick black line, the robot will detect uh, the magenta mark to change the state line from the thick black line to a thin white line again. And with this color, our robot is made oblique to the right to reach second checkpoint faster. After stopping for two, stack, two second, at the second checkpoint, our robot advances to advance the shortcut to the line right in in front of it using the required duration of 0 0.625 second. Then detect the light green mark for another shortcut and detect the green mark to turn left to go to the third checkpoint 
After stopping two seconds at the third checkpoint, the robot will turn around using the gyro sensor to go to the fourth checkpoint. At the fourth checkpoint, the robot will turn right and then forward until it detects green mark. After detecting green mark, the robot will turn left to go to the fifth checkpoint. After stopping two seconds at the fifth checkpoint, the robot will go forward and detect purple to turn right, then go forward until it detects dark blue mark. To turn left and go straight to the last checkpoint or six and go straight to the finish. Applying knowledge gained to the real world. Autonomous driving vehicles or driverless cars that exist in the real world today, one of which is the Waymo brand from America. The technology used in this car is first LiDAR, is used to provide an overview of the surroundings of the subject, which in this case is the car. Number 2 sensor fusion is used as a backup plan in case of damage or system failure on the ca camera or LiDAR. Number 3 is localization is used to find out the location of the vehicle the fourth is path planning is used to plan which path will be chosen to reach the destination the fifth is control or ecu is used for fuel economy safety and driving comfort in ladder technology additional sensors are needed so that the resulting output is more precise the sensors that can be used are ultrasonic sensors and gyro sensors. Thank you for watching our presentation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye bye.